This is the Ocean Digital WR50 Internet Radio Tuner. If Internet Radio is not on your radar, this might change your mind. Internet Radio has been out there forever, but I just kind of forgot about it. I don't even know why. I think it's because the allure of on-demand, whatever you want to hear, whenever you want to hear it, just became more enticing for a while. And then... I got tired of listening to the same stuff all the time, so I would turn towards curated playlists for my streaming services, or XM radio, or even terrestrial radio, or my own local stuff in shuffle play mode. And then I saw the WR50 from Ocean Digital, and I thought, oh yeah, internet radio. The WR50 is about the size of a standard stereo component, which is great if you want to put this in your stack, but if you want to use this as a standalone device, it might seem a little bit large. Let's start with a product tour of the WR50. This is a standard USB slot. It will read U drives. It might read other devices, but only MP3s, AACs, or AAC+. And it will not provide power for a device, so it either should not need power or have its own power supply. Beneath that, we have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Nothing special there. There is a screen here, I believe it's a TFT screen, which they use contrasting colors to its full advantage. So the TFT isn't necessarily a big drawback, but it doesn't have a wide viewing angle. So you pretty much wanna be looking at it straight on. The navigation buttons are in the center of the WR50. You can do pretty much everything you need to do from these front panel controls, but I just think it's easier for the most part to do them from the remote. The one exception are the user-defined presets labeled keys one through four. That's a convenience you just can't ignore. This is of course the power button. The knob next to it serves as a volume control and also menu navigation, and if you press it, a menu select. The power button up front is kind of a soft power off. It's off, but not really off. If you use this rocker switch, it is really off, and the remote control will not help you there. They include an adapter to provide power to the WR50. This is your wired ethernet jack, and next to that is the Wi-Fi antenna. This is a, it looks like just a wire, but it's actually your FM antenna. Then there is a toss leak connection here, coaxial connection, analog RCA connection here, and a Bluetooth antenna. I'd never seen a Bluetooth antenna before. You can connect a Bluetooth source to the WR50 if you want to use whatever headphones or speakers are attached to this device. You can listen to FM radio. Depending upon your market, you could listen to DAB or DAB Plus, digital audio broadcasting. Uh, we don't support this standard in the United States, so if that's where you live, this feature is no good to you. Like I said before, you can listen to music off a USB U drive. The Media Center feature actually took me by surprise. It gives you access to universal plug and play or DLNA servers on your network. I forgot I had any but I was able to play music off my universal plug and play server and it gave me access to tracks that went beyond the supported USB limitations of MP3, AAC or AAC+. Internet radio is of course the core feature of the WR50. You can define up to 135 FM radio or internet radio stations. I used to listen to tons of podcasts, but they just fell out of favor personally over the years. But now that I've got this functionality, I was able to enjoy some of my old favorites again. Other features include a sleep timer, just a regular timer, and an alarm clock. This is the remote control that they include with the WR50. It is obviously highly engineered for this device, and yet glaringly compromised in a way that makes it almost unusable. The problem became immediately obvious when I tried to enter the password for my Wi-Fi network. Using this remote to enter letters and symbols was a nightmare and it made me not want to do it again. 
but you have to do it again if you want to use the remote to enter search terms, like you're searching for a radio station or a podcast or something like that. You just can't get around it. They had to have known about the problem because they made this handy chart in the manual. You have to do seven key presses to do a lowercase c. Speaking of the manual, this one is actually pretty good. By modern standards, this is kind of a complicated device and it will take some time for you to read the manual and configure it before it is usable. Configuration is the worst part. This thing is old school. It feels like it was designed by engineers. There was no user interface team, I guarantee it. There is a web app that makes the process of discovering new internet radio stations just a little bit easier. The web app is even a little bit rough, but it, it does allow you to select from a menu of radio stations and send that information to the WR50 where you can listen to it immediately and see if you like it. And if you do like it, you can click this button on the remote to add it as a favorite, and then you can click this button to bring up your list of favorites. So it does make your life a little bit easier. When you have your four presets configured and your favorites defined, this is actually a pretty fun unit to have around. It looks nice and it sounds good. It's just that initial configuration that is a painful experience. And I am enjoying rediscovering internet radio stations and podcasts again. I like this device. It's a little rougher on the edges, but um, you can handle it. I will give this a four out of five star rating. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.